we thank you. Now to campaign 2014 and our exclusive Eyewitness News Providence Journal poll. New at six, a big issue that could define the governor's race and impact your tax dollars for years to come, pension reform. On the eve of a major announcement in settlement talks, we took the pulse of voters on the controversial pension reform law passed in 2011. Let's get right to Target 12 investigator Tim White for details. Pension reform in the announcement of a potential settlement tomorrow is an important issue in this race, especially for general treasurer and gubernatorial candidate Gina Raimondo. It was a bitter battle. You know what I asked you to do? Do it again! In 2011, the Rhode Island General Assembly passed a major overhaul to the state pension system. The law saves hundreds of millions of dollars a year, mainly by suspending annual benefit increases, or COLAs, for retirees. Unions sued, calling the law unconstitutional. We asked 500 likely voters for the Democratic primary if they support or oppose the changes to the pension system. 46% say they support the changes, 28% oppose. 27% aren't sure. Which means they, they basically forgotten about what happened in 2011, I believe. Eyewitness News analyst and pollster Joe Fleming says the pension reform issue will likely bleed over into the governor's race and impact Gina Raimondo's campaign. What she needs to do is not just say, I support, I masterminded pension reform, but explain what was done, how bad the system was before, and what she did to save the taxpayers all the money. Ramondo's Democratic challengers, Mayor Angel Tavares and political newcomer Clay Powell, have both said they would have tried to negotiate changes to the retirement system with the unions before changing the law. I have no doubt that over time, people will realize pension reform was necessary. It saved the system, saved pensions, saved bankruptcy of several cities and towns. It was the right thing for Rhode Island. Perennial candidate Todd Drew is also in the race for governor. Now, as you'd expect, public sector union members we asked oppose the reform law. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.